everyone. So it is Monday, um, July 27th. Um, this is my first week back to school. So I'm off today. I go back to work tomorrow. Students return Thursday. Um, so I figured I would just vlog a little bit each week of what's going on. Later today, I have a meeting with my chemistry group. Um, and we'll be um, hopefully planning some stuff for the year. And then um, I just have to get ready for myself for tomorrow and <clears throat> get my son ready to go back to daycare. So we are in the middle, um, hopefully at the tail end of potty training. Um, I just thought, you know, what better time to start potty training than when we're all home doing nothing. And he's doing pretty well, uh, but we, you know, there's still some things that need to be worked out and the babysitters have assured me that um you know they'll be working with him obviously um but i don't know because he's um pretty quiet at daycare and so hopefully he'll um do well with potty training there and then being or working with some other people maybe it'll help him um, help trigger some new things for him related to potty training and then he actually starts preschool next Monday, um, which I'm a little nervous about. We have been practicing wearing his mask because um, he has to wear a mask on the bus. And then um, I think his class size is pretty small, but I'm not sure how um, the pandemic has changed things. He was supposed to start preschool um, actually three days, three half days a week, um, the last quarter of school and then um, pandemic, so he didn't get to go. So now he'll be attending five days a week, half days. Um, so it should be interesting. He's excited about school, but he does I mean, he doesn't really understand what's going on. He just thinks that when he wears a mask, he's a ninja, um, which is fun. So anyway, we are gonna have an interesting week um, getting ready for this new normal and um, I will take you along with me. Good morning, everyone. Um, this morning is the first day back to work and the first day back to preschool, um, or well, daycare, preschool's next week. Um, and today is just a day full of meetings. Um, we're gonna hopefully find out some really um, important information about the year and how the year has to flow. Um, yesterday, I had some meetings with some colleagues and um, it went pretty well. We think we have a plan for chemistry now, at least for the first three weeks of school. Um, we just have to run it by a couple people who weren't able to make it to the meeting. Um, and then I found out through email yesterday that I'm teaching one online course. I don't know what that course is, if it's chemistry or anatomy, but I'll find out today. Um, yeah, so, uh, welcome back to school. Hello everyone, um, so we just finished up our morning meetings and um, I just finished my lunch um, and we learned a couple of new things. So some of our kids can choose independent study and I have three kids who have chosen to do that so that means that um, they will be following along with class online but I'm not expected to create an online course for them, I just have to supply the materials. Um, and I actually know one of the students, I had her last year. so. Um, we'll kind of see how that goes. I always put all my stuff on Schoology anyway. It's just I have to make sure I'm... Um, and Schoology is our like learning management system for those of you who don't use it. So if you use um, Canvas or um, like Google Classroom, it's our version of that. So um, at least one student will be comfortable with the way I post things. I'm just going to have to make sure that I have the calendar um, updated really well for them to follow along. Um, and I'm just kind of going through how I'm going to organize those things for them in a way that if they're only ever online, um, independent studying, that they can easily find everything. Um, and then this afternoon they've set aside for just working in our PLCs, working with our fellow um, topic teachers so we can make a plan for that. Um, we did meet yesterday for chemistry. Uh, and have a pretty good plan, but I think we're gonna have to tweak it based on some things that we learned today and then tomorrow is the entire day's planning, which is nice because that'll give us time if we to create the online documents if we need to and 
um, kind of do all of that stuff, update our syllabi, yeah, that's plural, syllabi, so, um, which I need to add, I just made some notes, I need to add, because our seats, um, I'll show you in a minute, but our seats can go up and down, so there, I need rules for that, like if we're doing anything on the board together, no one in front can, I don't want anybody in the front standing and blocking everyone behind them, so I have to add that. Um, COVID and cleaning, they only gave us one bottle of cleaner, and then these kind of all-purpose wipes, um, because buying like those rolls of like pre-wetted stuff would just be really expensive because the kids are expected to enter the room, sanitize their hands, um, and then when they leave, uh, sanitize the desks and then hand sanitize again. Um, so we're gonna go through a lot of hand sanitizer. My worry about that, no, but I haven't really heard anybody talk about it, is that. Um, bacteria on your hand can become resistant to certain hand sanitizers so if we're using hand sanitizer that much but it we can't send everybody to the bathroom all the time to wash their hands with soap so hand sanitizer is the only option and maybe we can like rotate the type of hand sanitizer we're using and that will help prevent that I mean I, that's not like the major issue right now the major issue right now is COVID um, so that's kind of the fire we have to put out, but there is that. Um, I need to, I still have that big stack of physical science books. I need to get back to the physical science teacher. Um, our anatomy numbers have grown, so we are not sure if we have enough textbooks for anatomy, so we have to order those, um, which will not make it here by Thursday, but um, at least we can get them working their way to us um, if we decide, because there's also a lot of free, um, online website. CK12 has some free textbooks, but they don't have anatomy, but OpenStax has a free anatomy textbook. So if we look through that and think that that's good enough, um, maybe we'll have some, maybe we'll use them as resources. Um, yeah, that's kind of just a quick little update about school this year. Good morning, it is Wednesday at about 6.23. Um, I usually get up around six o'clock and get ready for the day. I like to take my time in the morning. Um, so coffee, breakfast, and then I like to get to school early before kids get there. So I'm trying to get that pattern for myself together. Um, my son is still sleeping, my husband is sleeping. Today, I'm really excited. It's just a full work day, so I'll, I'll have all my colleagues at school if I need to bounce ideas off of someone, but I just get to work. Um, the chemistry group, we did decide to meet this morning. Uh, we'll meet at like 8.05, and then um, the rest of the day is for me, so I'll be able to finish moving bulletin boards around. So I think I've decided um, that I am going to move my quote of the week stuff up and I'm just gonna have a whole, the whole quote board will just be quotes behind my desk. Um, and then, yeah, I have to do that naked numbers board. And then, I have a little list. <laughs> That's why I write everything down, because I don't have good memory. Um, oh, and then I just have some, like, printing to do for tomorrow. So I found this worksheet um, that is like a blank syllabus the students will fill out. Um, so I'm going to use that so that they're doing something this, uh, tomorrow. If we have time to get to the syllabus, if not, we'll do it Friday. Um, and then I have to update my activity, my this or that activity that usually gets them moving. Go from one, like, would you pick this or that? And they move to one room or the other, or one side of the room or the other. And this year I'm going to have to have them stand up and down instead. Um, it's kind of a fun way to break the day up for them because they sit the first day of school. They don't get to move around much. And then tomorrow, with COVID happening, um, they're not going to get to move much at all. So I want to do that uh, for them. Get their blood flowing. Oh, and then I had just have a couple of like um, stuff for next Monday when we actually get start getting into the meat of content um, to put together and organize. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. Okay guys, so quick update. 
was able to get my a, a 20 my 28th student was removed so instead of removing that desk which I originally had thought I removed this desk so I was able to get this table back here they provided us with a hand sanitizing station and normally I have my kids pick up work on their way in so the we'll separate the classes that way so anatomy and chemistry or whatever um, and it provides a nice little place for recycling and trash so that'll be the first thing when they enter and then I was able to update these a little bit um, nothing really moved and then um, I put numbers on the table so I just printed some numbers used some packing tape somebody in my school used vinyl letters on her Cricut and that looked really cute um, so that they're fully wipeable um, and then I did update this board. I decided instead of the just say no to naked numbers to move my like problem solving stuff up here. So I need to make a sign, but I got these from Target like everybody, <laughs> um, at least on YouTube. And then um, I'll try and find these. I think they were free on somebody's website um, forever ago. So I'll post that if I can find it. Um, and then I just need to make a sign that says like, um, are you stuck? And then those are like things you can do, which is why I use the light bulbs. Um, and then another target find were these stars in the dollar spot. Um, so I thought that was really cute. So two yellow borders and I have the same fabric. I think I got it from Joann's like two years ago. Kept the quotes. I know somebody had mentioned they didn't want me to move it. And I thought they meant my, um, growth mindset board, but they meant this board. So this is going to stay like this. Um, I might add some more quotes. I might move. I don't know. But for, today, for now, that's this fine. I'm leaving this because we only are losing two minutes during the class period. Um, so I can do my typical board stuff. I bought these forever ago, found them. I was going to use them as a border. It didn't work really well. So I thought I would leave them um, as kind of like little notes to the class as they come in. And then the extra border I had is like a little like, hey, look at me. I thought that was cute. And I have this space for like FYIs and stuff. Yeah, so I... So I'm going to go ahead and um, pick up my little man from preschool. I did want to, I'll tell you guys how this works tomorrow, but I did get from Math Giraffe a, sorry, a fill outable syllabus, which I'm really excited about. I think that that will, um, one, take a little time because we're starting on a Thursday and we were um, told not really to start content. So I think that one, when you write it down, you remember it better. So I think this will help them. And then I'm going to post my like back to school PowerPoint in Schoology. Um, so if they miss anything or if their parents are like, I want to see, or guardians, whoever is in charge of their personhood, want to see, like, make sure that they didn't write down some bogus info. Um, like, I don't give homework, I give classwork, and then if you don't finish it, you got to take it home and finish it. So if they don't believe their kiddo, they can check that. Um, and then we all are using the same Flynn Science Safety Contract this year. So I have that printed and ready to go. And I have some blank paper for tomorrow. They're going to make table tents for their names since I'm not going to be able to see their faces. Um, and then I do an activity every year. I keep saying every year. I did, started it last year. I found it somewhere on Pinterest um, because I had trouble saying um, some kids' names. And I just, makes me sad. Like, I'd be sad if my teacher said my name wrong. Or if you have a trans student who, in the computer, it says one name, but they go by another name. And then you call them that name, then everybody knows. So what I do instead is I have a note card. And they write their, their name as it appears on their schedule up top. Um, this year I'm going to have them add their desk number, um, just so I know, like, I'm putting them in desks, but, you know, they might have to be moved around, but just so I can kind of start putting eyeballs to names with their desk number, where they sat, the name they want to be called, the name they want me to call them, along with phonetics, like, how do I phonetically say that? So I don't want them to come up and say, like, oh, my name is blah, 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 something that might be hard for me as a Midwestern white lady to say. Um, and then they come up with some other name. Like I had a roommate in college that was from Korea and, um, she had us all call her Brie, which is, I guess, normal for her culture to like pick an American name when they come to study in America. But, um, her real name is Su Yen. It's like, I can say that. <laughs> I can say any name. I just need to know how to. So I ask for phonetics on there. And then I also ask, um, what is something that they are really good at, um, like they consider themselves an expert at. 
Um, I asked them this year, what is their one word goal for the year? And I'm going to make, I don't remember what they're called, but like enter all of the words into um, some database and it pops out like this picture. So hopefully a bunch of kids have the same one word and we can, you know, those, they get bigger, the more work people that have them. And that can be some class artwork, either digitally or in the room. And then there's another question, but I can't think of what it is, but um, I mean, I'll show it to you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go. Um, apprehensive, but excited to have some normalcy, but it's not gonna be normal. <laughs> so who knows? <laughs>